What is up, Rad Potential YouTube, and welcome to a Rad Formational segment about Rad Rotary Engines. So we're here with Charles. He come over to help me finish this car and get some stuff done because, well, I've been struggling the past few days if you didn't see my last two videos. And it's good to have somebody here to help that knows them pretty much better than me. Way better than me. So, what we're doing today is we're going to show you how to find top dead center in your rotary engine. Now, given that these engines don't have pistons and valves and all sorts of other things that you can wear, you like put a pin down the top of your spark plug hole and move the motor over till it's like all the way up, it's a little bit tougher. So, there's a method and procedure. I'm going to show you real quick on the handy dandy whiteboard. So, this outer one is your housing. This is your leading plug hole and your trailing plug hole. So what you're going to do is you're going to rotate your engine so that you can, if you will, well first remove both of these two plugs and you'll be able to see the tip of this apex seal. So we're going to be rotating this rotor around so we can see the apex seal in those holes. Okay. So on the rear rotor, we're going to take the rotor and align the apex seal with the trailing plug hole. Then you're going to go to the front of your engine and put a mark on your timing pulley at the timing mark on the front cover. You're going to come back to the engine rotation, you're going to rotate this such that the same apex seal you saw on the trailing plug, so you're going to rotate it in its direction of run, shows up on the leading plug hole. And then you're going to go make a mark on your timing pulley where the timing mark is on the front cover. Now, after you've done that, you're going to take those two marks and you're going to bisect those marks, i.e. find the middle of them and then that is your new zero degrees of timing location because that is the center of, or I guess the center, that's the tip of the front rotor essentially. So we're going to show you on this engine over here. So we've got the bore scope right here going into the engine and you can see right there is the tip of the apex seal. So we're going to go ahead on the front, we're going to make a mark on the pulley at that timing mark right there. So now, we're going to move this picture down here. So now we're looking in the trailing hole. Charles is rotating the engine over and there's the next apex seal. So now we're going to come up here and make another mark on the front pulley. And so how we've got these drawn is you should be able to see them on here, here kind of. And here. Yep, so there and there. So, so now the center is going to be about here. So we're going to go ahead and spin this until the approximate center, wherever Charles says that here. is. Here. Can't see the other one. Here and here. Yep. So about. Oh, oh, oh yep. again. No, you want more? It's it stopped turning for me. There. So we got here. Uh, I got a flashlight. Mm. Handy. CJ, John? CJ, the big truck. You see this mark and this mark. Yep. I can't get it to turn. I was turning it a minute ago. I can get it, I can get it back here. Yep. You stay right there. Yep. You tell me when it's centered. Alright, that's good. So, basically, if you look right here is our timing mark. Alright guys, so a quick break in the action, because I was in the house editing this video. Slap my clothes on real quick to come out here and kind of clarify a couple things just because didn't do a super good job explaining it, or at least in my head. It made sense to me, but I just wanted to super clear clarify basically everything that's happening, and I'm going to go over the process again um, really quick just, just to kind of illustrate it a little bit better. So basically what we're doing, ignore my previous picture, um, we've got your housing, okay, right here. And you have the trailing hole and the leading hole. And your rotor tip, I'm just going to draw part of this triangle, okay? You're going to turn your rotary engine so on the rear rotor you can see an apex seal. It doesn't matter what apex seal, just so that you can see an apex seal on the rear trailing plug hole, okay? Now, you're going to go to your front pulley. It's going to be at some arbitrary location and your timing pin is going to be right here, okay? You're gonna mark that spot. So I'm gonna mark this as trailing two. 
Okay, now you're going to come to your, the front of your engine. You're going to turn this engine, okay, in its direction of rotation, i.e. moving this same apex seal from here to this point. Okay, so now you have the same apex seal you just saw viewed from the leading plug hole. Okay, so the same apex seal in the trailing, you move it to the leading. It shouldn't go very far. You'll barely have to turn the engine. And what that's going to do is that's going to take this picture. So now I'm going to redraw it. And you're going to have a mark over here. And this is the mark you just drew for T2. Now you're going to have a mark right here for leading to. And this is the same timing pin. So you rotate it to the new location, mark it with the timing pin. Much like Charles and I did. We should have used a white paint pin, but no big deal. You'll get, you'll get it here. So now what you're going to do you're going to take a piece of string or something and lay it along this radius. Okay. In our case, we used a piece of wire and this I just we just didn't film it. We kind of just got all ready to go. So we used this this short piece of wire right here, okay? And we laid it on the pulley like that. You know, along the circumference of it and marked the location of the center or cut it to the right length and marked the location of the center. So basically, what you're going to do, you have these two marks on here now, okay? You need to find the center of these two marks and mark that location on your pulley. Once you have this location marked on your pulley, you rotate it. You can either go all the way around or rotate it back so that this location, we're just going to put a zero here, that location is lined up with your timing pin. Once you have this location at your timing pin, you've now found top dead center of your rotary. And like I put in the captions earlier, if you can imagine this engine, there's no valves, there's no nothing in, that causes interference. So technically speaking, you can zero your distributor three at three separate places on a two rotor, right? Because you have three locations where the front rotor has an apex seal pointing up, which is essentially what we're doing right here. So, just wanted to interject to put that in. I hope that clarifies it a little better, even though this is kind of the meat and the potatoes of the video. But we're going to cut back to where we were just at um, in what's left of the video. So, back to it. And right here is our timing mark. There and there. So we're centered on this. Now, you need... We're, I'm going to get out a piece of string, and we're going to measure that off, mark the piece of string, put it back on there, and make sure we get this marked straight. Because then we're good to go. Or a piece of wire, as Charles has here. Um, because we want to make sure that we get this right. So, once you have that done, you're going to mark that pulley at the center of those two. Then you're going to set that center mark on your, your timing mark. Stab your distributor like normal. If you look up, I have another video on how to set your ignition and stuff up. And then you should be good to go. And you've established top dead center of your motor. There is another process for doing that on a three rotor and for a four rotor so you need to look those up if you're in that application but my guess is if you got a three rotor and a four rotor you know what you're doing so you'll be able to get it figured out so with that if we come up with any other issues and i'll show you this when we're done after we've done our string and stuff so now that you know how to do top dead center on your rotary engine we're talking about one other thing real quick and you're going to notice Yes, we did take the engine out of the white car because it has an oil leak that I have to pull the front cover back off for right in here, just so you know. But one thing I want to tell you, though. So if you notice, right here we have my Sharpie mark, which you can't really see because of the light, but we have my Sharpie mark. And my other Sharpie mark is right here. Okay, so here and here where my fingers are. And if you notice, here, well, I guess it's a little further around, right there and there. So there and there where my fingers are. And if you notice, I was able, when I was putting this pulley on and, and lining this baby up, um, I lined it up such that the original timing mark is back to TDC. So to confirm that it works on the radiuses of the pulley, the original timing mark is here, and that helped me make sure that I had this pulley bolted on in the right orientation. So maybe you can... Oh, geez. Oh, there's a chain in it. So you can see there's an original timing mark. Uh, right here are my thumb and right here are my finger. So where my thumb and finger are are the two marks you determine from the leading and trailing coil plugs with the same apex seal and the white mark in the center there 
is in fact the original leading tommy mark so it does in fact work so i wanted to put that in at the end just to show you uh, because we well we got this car running and then noticed the oil leak and unfortunately can't be having oil leaks especially on the front cover right where the highest oil pressure is so we got to make sure we get that fixed so we're getting that fixed but i figured i'd show you that while i had it out i do want to say thank you guys for watching um this whole video and uh if you want to see more you know informational stuff like i said i'm not a rotary genius i know a good amount about these cars charles knows a heck of a lot more than me but if there's videos of things you have questions on drop it in the comments i can i can make sure to try to figure this stuff out for you guys um, it's kind of what I'm here for, trying to be a little more, uh, like, you know, you got all those old forums, but watching the video is pretty good if, if the person on the other end can explain it well. So, I hope that all makes sense. Um, I'll put a link in the description to the write-up on, uh, I think it's like RX-7 Club or some forum page. If you Google it, you can figure it out. But, uh, as of now, that'll be it. So, thank you guys for watching. Again, subscribe if you want to see some more stuff. Keep it rad.